Hey friends, so I'm sitting down here. I was getting ready to start editing my what's for dinner video, um, my Sunday supper video, and I hadn't done an intro, so I wanted to go ahead and jump on here and let you know that this is this week's Sunday supper. Um, I don't remember what we did. Garlic, two different kinds of chicken skewers. We done garlic parmesan and lemon garlic, um, but we're just gonna share that with you. It's actually the day before you're watching this, so um, Lord willing that it goes out on Sunday the 21st. So it is Wendy's birthday. So all the kiddos went on a walk. And so me and little love bug here are just hanging out. We's in the house, but I came out here to do the intro. So um, we're just going to jump on into the video and get started. So we're going to start off by making our normal roll recipe. I'm not going to use the bread machine though. I'm just going to quickly make some and just put them in a pan and let them bake together. Do these more like the like dinner rolls you can sometimes buy at Walmart and whatnot. I just decided to do them quick. Didn't really have time so I just done them and um, let them do one rise instead of two like I necessarily, you know, that you actually should do. They was a little flatter than normal but they taste just the same. So it's perfectly fine. We're gonna throw some of those together. You'll see how I'm doing it. Um, and I will link the recipe down below. Like I said, this is a bread machine roll recipe. It's the one I always use, but I will use it just the same without using the bread machine. Just typically I use the bread machine because it's just more convenient. But I didn't really have the time. We had ran some errands and whatnot this day, but I really wanted rolls to go along with the dinner that I chose. So I done the quick route, which like I said, it's just fine. They're not as pretty and they're not as fluffy, but they still taste good. So that's all that matters. And then in true me fashion for the chicken, I decided to just do skewers for both recipes. There's two different recipes. The garlic Parmesan was skewers, but the garlic, lemon garlic was not. It's supposed to be bites that was fried on the stove top, but I was already doing skewers for the garlic ones. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna bake both of them. Um, neither one of them was supposed to be baked. You're supposed to fry the garlic, the lemon garlic ones, and then the Parmesan, garlic was supposed to be air fried i do think that the frying them like air frying them would have made them much, not much better but it would have made them better and when i remake them uh, because they were still good and i'm going to remake them but when i remake them i am going to uh, drag out my large um, air fryer the one that is also like a rotisserie chicken cooker and cook them that way because i think it will make them better to crisp them up more however they tasted good i 
I knew that they would be good, so I made mostly the garlic Parmesan ones. I was a little scared of the lemon garlic. I know that people love like lemon pepper chicken and whatnot. I typically don't love lemon flavored things unless it's a dessert. Then I love lemon. Um, however, of the two, if I had to pick, I think the lemon would have been my favorite. But they were, they was both good and the family really liked the garlic Parmesan ones. So when I remake them, I probably will cook them accordingly instead of just doing my own thing. I followed the recipe as far as like ingredients goes and whatnot, but I baked them instead of air frying them and air frying them would have got them a little more crispy and brown and that is how we typically like stuff, but I just was not in the mood to do that much extra this, this day. So, and I figured it would make it easier on me if I just combined the two and you know, done them separately, but together, if that makes sense. And so that's what we did. Like I said, no one complained. It was good, but I do think they would have been better if they was fried, air fried, whatever. And I will link the recipes for these down below. It's recipes that Kim sent me from Facebook. So I will link them as well as, I don't know how long a description box can be, but I will try to link them as well as write out the recipe if it will allow me to do that. Because I know sometimes things from Facebook is weird and if you don't have an account, it won't let you um, see it or whatever. So I'll try to write it out as well because I did not stick with it. But if 
I can't get it to work and you can't see it, I'm sure you could find something very similar on Pinterest. Now, the lemon garlic ones, I didn't stick with the recipe 100% just because I added a few extra seasonings and I had, I really wanted to zest the lemon, but I didn't have, I couldn't find my lemon zester. So instead, I just sprinkled in some lemon pepper and then I added some rosemary just because I thought that would, you know, be a good flavor to add to it. Then we're just going to put them on the kebab sticks. I don't usually soak my kebab sticks, but it told me to on this recipe, and I figured that would help the sticks not burn. They still got a little brown, but I guess they didn't really burn. I don't know. I always take my meat off of the stick when I'm eating it like this. Um, I would even leave off the stick, but the kids like the stick. The stick is the best part for the kids, I guess, for whatever reason. So I still went ahead and put Put the chicken on the stick it is a whole nother step like if you're not worried about the stick i say just skip it and just lay them out and cook them accordingly but the kiddos wanted them on the stick and they was kind of picking at me and kim because she done it too um because we took it off the stick because it's just easier to eat that way and i did have gloves on this day Sometimes the meat doesn't bother me. Most of the time it does, but usually I can get by with it. However, I had hit my finger on the goat shed and had a little cut, and I did not want all this mess going into my freshly wounded hand anyway. So this is the chicken. It's going to go into the oven, and I'm just going to bake it for whatever. I don't even know what I did. I think I'd done it for like 15 minutes and checked it, flipped it, and then I... I'm going to add a little bit of extra on the garlic parmesan and then put it back in for a few more minutes to kind of let it mend together better and brown up. The garlic, the lemon garlic ones, I didn't put them back. They was thinner anyways and they was done first time pulling them out. So I just took them and set them back to the back and kept them warm by covering them up. But the verdict was they was all good. I would definitely be making them again. I probably will air fry them next time just to get them a little more brown, as you can see. But they was good. They all got eaten and nobody complained. So that's a win when you have a family as big as ours. All right, friends. And with that, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe down below if you haven't already. We do. We're trying to do cook with me's or what's for dinner at least once a week, as well as grocery hauls and just vlogs. So we would love to have you guys. Um, we're going to head back in the house because it's a little chilly out here. It's not like super cold, but a little too chilly for her to just stay outside. But I wanted to walk out here and do the intro, outro. It's typically quieter. But thank you guys for watching. Oh, but first, let's show baby. So here I am, all sleepy. She got to go meet some new, some more family today at a baby shower. So, but thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you all next time. As always, remember to show grace. Be content and live blessed. Bye, friends.